And now, America's favorite hunting couple, Ralph and Vicki C. and Cerullo. This week on The Archer's Choice, well, we're at it again. We're back up with... Oh, the Wolf Creek Outfitters and Bobby Irvin. The bear man the himself. The bear man himself, the crazy bear man. I just love spending time with Bobby. Yeah, in, I noticed. In, in the big woods up there in Alberta. Yeah, you he know, puts I, you I, on all the great spots, but hey, no, let's yeah, change yeah, the yeah. subject. Yeah, let's change really the subject mad. that I'm really looking forward to going spring bear hunting this year because, man, it's pretty cold outside right now. we got snow on the ground. I still love this kind of weather. I know. You know, we're going to join posse members, the father and son team, yep. uh, Bubba Cross and David Cross down from Louisiana. They went up there with bear hunting with us and, well, give credit where credit is due. You know, we commend all the parents who are taking their kids out hunting, and this has become a family tradition with Bubba. And, well, check these hunts out. Snuck up on him, great shot, hit him perfect. He I seen him go down, he didn't go far. That's a good shot. Boy, that Spitfire done the job, didn't it? Look, complete pass through. Okay, I tell you what, it didn't go 20 yards, perfect. Perfect shot. Beautiful, beautiful bear. Tell you what, I couldn't be any prouder. It's a privilege to be hunting with the Archer's Choice. We went on a great bear hunt. Keep that channel locked right here for more Archer's Choice. Welcome back to the Archer's Choice. Stop throwing snowballs at me. Let's get back to David. Oh, cross is hot!
damn baby. <sighs> Hang on just a second. I got <laughs> beautiful bear. Beautiful bear. I heard him go down probably 70, 80 yards right through there. Made a good shot. Pure adrenaline, baby. Pure adrenaline. Thank you, Lord. We're just gonna give him a little bit. Wait for Greg to come up here, my God. We're gonna trail him up. What a beauty, what a beauty. Thank you, Lord. I shot him right here. Everybody's here. We're gonna follow the blood and I heard him crash, he ain't far. And Spitfire done his job. We're gonna follow it right here right quick. Here's some signs. Here's some signs. There he is. Folks, check out this bear. Huge color phase. I shot a respectable bear at Tuesday evening. Never dreamed I would shoot a bear like this. Love it when a plan comes together. It's been an unbelievable hunt at Wolf Creek Outfitters here with the Archer's Choice Team Bow Hunters. What we're gonna do is we're gonna set up my stealth cam here on the test bait. We saw some good piles of scat, a couple good tracks, and there's a really good trail right there going in the woods. We're gonna set up the digital camera, the stealth cam and see if we can get some shots of what kind of bears coming in here. And we've got it set up so it goes off twice every five minutes. So we'll see how that does. We might find that we need to make it a little bit maybe either longer or shorter or something. We'll have to see. Um, I have plastic gloves on to try not leaving as much scent on the camera so that the bears decide they don't want to eat it for dinner. Which still could happen, but hopefully not.
same size as this one here. I'm probably gonna regret this, hoping that maybe I could stalk the other one, but I'm gonna hold out. Not to mention, he just walked away, so that doesn't help me any. Welcome back to the Archer's Choice. I don't know what I was doing. What? Girl! I don't know. I don't What's know. What's the matter with you? I got greedy. Greedy? <laughs> that was a fantastic bear. It was a beautiful bear. bear, and you know what? It was early in the hunt, and so it's what? one of those things where you should never pass up the first day what you wouldn't the last. Can you say that one more time? Never pass up the first day what you wouldn't on the last. Oh boy, lessons learned. You better believe it. Hey, you know, that's, that's life. I'll, I'll get over it. Hmm. Let's mm -hmm. check out what she does next. We just, we got here not even half an hour ago. We've had two bears on the bait. He's not a bad bear. I'll probably regret it, but I think I'm going to wait a little bit more. Yeah. Would you take him, Ralph? You would. You think a square over six? What you just saw was something that's pretty rare, and that is to see it or capture it on camera. You know, Vicky and I were in a stand, and you saw that little boar get treed by the bigger boar, and if that bigger boar would have got a hold of that little guy, well, he'd have killed him right on the spot.
come down now. <laughs> there was one for us. Little guys. Welcome back to the Archer's Choice. You know what? Let's. Can we play that miss back again? I mean, because. I mean, that was a great tree, Vic. I mean, come on. You know, she said it was for all the little guys. Like I mean, you. She ain't right. I just shot my bear. He went off. And I know he's down. He came alone. We've still got this little guy up here in the tree. But there's another big bear over there. Huffing and climbing trees, trying to scare things out of it. I don't know if it's that saw with the cubs or if it's a bigger boar. Up here in Alberta, we got two tags, though. That's this one here. This is this this is this is the one that I missed. My my broadhead's probably stuck in the tree right in here. Probably like I don't know where it is. It'd have to be down that low, wouldn't it? Oh. Okay. So there's there's my <laughs> my broadhead is stuck inside of there. So he's standing here and there's this flat you can see my knock sticking out from underneath the stomach and he just stood there. And I'm like <gasps> so I grab another arrow. And then he starts backing up. I go, oh no, you don't. I said, I didn't want to break my arrow and he broke it anyways. Okay. There he is, right there in the deadfall. Oh my gosh, look at that. He's right there in that bush. Oh, that did its job, huh? Holy cow. Well, Kurt, we had one heck of a night. I mean, this is just, that's not bad, huh? Yeah. Nice bear. Probably, I'd say he's probably gonna be about six foot, huh? Yeah. He's pretty long and he's got a nice head on him. And he's he, nice like I told you, he, he treed that little one and he just kind of made me a little upset. So <laughs> he's yeah. a good bear though. Thank you so much, sir. Yeah. Thank, Thank you. you Thank you very much. Thank you. Wow. Once again, we're up here with Bobby Irvin and Wolf Creek Outfitters in Alberta and we're bearing down again. Look, he's beautiful though, huh? He's you see the scars he's got? Next week, you're not going to want to miss part two where you get to watch Ralph have a beautiful blonde bear come and wait till you see what happens on this hunt. And we have Patty Finney with a monster pig brewing coming in on her. And of course, you saw what I shot this week. You're going to want to come in next week to find out who shoots the bigger bear, Ralph or me. Whoa. That was an awesome hunt. I can't believe it. I Bearing mean, down again and, up in Alberta. And then for me to miss that bear, and that was. You know, I wasn't going to say anything, but you know. Yeah, I know. It, it happens, though. I know. You know and, uh, but now everyone has to stay tuned until next week to see who and, shot the bigger bear. And if you guys remember, <laughs> we made a bet last year on who has to wear what, because whoever shoots the biggest whoever bear. Whoever shoots the biggest bear gets to make the other person wear whatever they say. So next week's show. You'll have to wait to see. You know, I just want to say, you know, it's so great to hunt with you. And I mean, with all this wonderful snow. Don't even. You already hit me in the face oh, once with yeah. it. Yeah. So remember, return next week, <laughs> same time. Same station. Right here. I got your choice. <laughs>